so you can hear me. Okay na po, sir. Ano pong nangyari? Can you talk nga ulit? Ngayon, sir, naririnig ko na po kayo. Oh, sige. Sana sila din. Meron na daw. Kung may isa po nga po. Meron na po. Ano ba naman yan yung webinar dyan? Naiinis na ako sa inyo. Ano pa yan? <laughs> Alam nyo, mag-launch na naman sila yung webinar dyan. Magpa- ra, ra, ra. We're so good. We're so good. Na naman. Um, let's go po. Ano ba yan? Hi everyone, this is Jomar Hilario. You're going to find out how you can effectively manage your home in task form four clients. Our guest for tonight is Andrea Vernes. Andrea, mag-mute ka muna. Okay po. Mag-mute ka muna. We can hear you moving. Okay. This is your second, this is Andrea's second time to be interviewed by me. Last year was in June where she was jobless and had a first job with the first client and now she asks, she has four clients, and we're gonna find out her story and how that happened. Before we go to Andrea, I just wanna show my, tell you my short introduction to myself. My name is Jomar Hilario. I'm a Filipino who is being copied left and right by people on how to <laughs> work online as a virtual assistant. I'm also the author of the book, Virtual Careers, that book on the up lower left-hand corner that you can see there. And I'm also a father of four kids. I didn't know that was one of the hardest things you can do, but I did. I got four kids and three of them being homeschooled. So I didn't also know that was such a difficult thing to do, no, to homeschool three kids. But there we are, homeschooling three kids. Um, tonight, you're going to find out from Andrea how she does it, how she manages um, four kids, uh, five kids, her kid and four clients. Okay, so um, I'm going to give the floor to Andrea right now. And the reward for people who will stay up to the end is I'm going to be announcing a brand new program that everybody can join. Um, well, depends if, if you want to join. Okay, it's a brand new program, never done it before. Um, it's also going to be one of the most exciting things I will do. The requirement for you to join this brand new program is make sure you have a cell phone. And no, it's not about Instagram, okay? So please stay tuned to the end to find out what the brand new program is. Um, meantime, here's Andrea Viernes. So have at it. Please make sure you ask questions during her talk and at the end of her talk so she, she can answer you, okay? So give us a hand to so Ms. Andrea Viernes. Yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening, so Andrea, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your life with us tonight. Yes, po, sir. Pag <laughs> screen share na po ba ako, sir? Go ahead, sir. Okay, By po, the way, sir. guys, Andrea, when you screen share, po ka magsalita kasi hindi namin marinig. Um, when you're changing the screen. Yes, po. Yes, po. Okay, po. You're about to do that right now, so wala yes. kami marinig. Yun. So anyway, Andrea is one of the speakers of the upcoming Day of Freedom on October 14. Okay, so Andrea. Okay na po, sir. Kita niyo na po yung screen. Kita na. Go ahead. Okay po. I'll start na. Uh, hello po, good evening. Um, hopefully, I can share something na magiging valuable po sa inyo at may inspire kayo to be virtual assistants too. So you can effectively manage your home and tasks from four clients. I'm happily in love and married with a very charming daughter at the age of 26. My husband is a seafarer. Three years na po siyang nagbabarko. Before I started this virtual careers, uh, assistant general manager ako uh, for almost four years uh, uh, sa isa pong international fast food chain. Good friend of mine encouraged me to pursue this career. Kahit doubtful ako noon kung kaya ko. Pero siya po ang nag-push sa akin na ituloy ko to. And now, magto-two years na po ako sa virtual careers. 
Now, pwede niyo pong itanong, how did I start? I started by thinking about what I really want. Kung ano ba talaga ang gusto ko, maging next career ko. Since kasi po talaga dun sa previous uh, job ko, uh, time consuming siya, and kahit 8 hours ka nga pong, 8 hours kang bayad, pero 12 hours ka pong naka-duty. So, sobrang yes, time consuming po. And alam ko na ito na talaga yung career na hinahanap-hanap ko. Kasi sinimulan kong iset ang goal ko, and that is to finish the assignment within two months. Determination, discipline, willingness, and focus. Whenever you feel doubtful kung kaya nyo, kapag nawawalan kayo ng motivation para tapusin ang assignment nyo, or when you're already losing hope kasi nakailang interview ka na pero wala ka pa rin client, is just look back and think about why you started in the first place. Sa journey ko rin naman po, hindi ako agad-agad nagkaroon ng client. My first interview wasn't successful. The other interview did not push through. Pero hindi pa rin ako nawala ng pag-asa. Hanggang sa nakatanggap ako ng another invite, um, an interview, which led me to my first client. I made it a point that he knows and understands kung hanggang saan at ano lang ang mga alam ko. Kasi sa account profile ko sa online jobs at PH, nilinaw ko doon that I'm a newbie here in this industry. So, ayoko mag sa kung ano yung iniisip ng alam ko. Gusto ko alam ni client kung ano lang talaga yung kayanan ko. But, even though na yun lang ang kakayanan ko at that time, I'm very willing to learn. Um, I'm Yes, I'm very honest about him, about my skills. And then that yun nga, very willing ako to learn. He made me try things na hindi alam na mag excel pa pala ako, like web development and video animation or marketing. We have become, we have became good friends to the point that I have shared my life goals to him and vice versa. Gusto niya makatulong sa goal ko na mapauwi si husband and to stay here for good na. He was indeed a very supportive client. During my first webinar guesting with Sir Jomar, he even attended in the first few minutes. He never forgets to thank me and to say kind words for the works I have done for him. He is very appreciative. Meron rin kung time nung hospital si Chloe, siya po yung daughter ko, hospital siya for one week. Nag-time off na muna ako ni client para makapag-focus sa pag-aalaga kay Chloe. Even offered me na i ko daw siya in full for that week kahit hindi ako nag-work noon. Uh, it's his simple way na raw po para tulong niya po sa akin at that time since alam niya po uh, medyo lutang ako kasi nasa hospital din daughter. Meron din pong time Paalis na uli, pasakay ng barko si husband. This ano lang po yun, this last April 3. Uh, April 1 po, he gave me a certain amount para raw po i-date ko si husband bago makaalis. So yung wow. mga ganun pong, yes, yung mga ganun pong simpleng bagay, parang hindi, hindi nga siya actually simple, parang magugulat ka na lang na may ganun pa siyang naiisip na nag-date niya pa talaga kami since alam niyang 9 months na namang mawawala si husband. Uh, next, tinulungan niya ako tinulungan niya ako through referring me to his friends kasi alam niya po yung goal ko and he wants me to um, explore more, to know more i-refer niya po ako sa mga kaibigan niya ang una ko naging client from him ay isang real estate investor I'm now helping him with his website, social media management and email marketing tapos yung sumunod naman po um Nag-start siya this May, June lang. From my, from my first client din po siya, uh, isa rin siyang franchise broker. Si first client po, isa siyang franchise broker. Si second client po, real estate investor. And si third client, franchise broker din po. She sought for my help para ma-revise yung website niya. Nagustuhan rin niya yung videos na ginawa ko sa homepage ni first client. Kaya nagpagawa rin siya ng videos for her site's homepage. So, um, I just have to share some few tips po sa inyo para makakuha kayo ng clients through recommendations lang. Na parang, kasi medyo, 
ang hirap rin po kasi talagang makipaglaban po, makipagkompetisyon sa pag-a-apply sa Upwork and onlinejobs.ph. So, ito po yung tips ko on how to get recommendations. Learn how to build a good relationship with your client. Kahit isa pa lang ang client mo, marami yung friends or colleagues na pwede kang i-recommendahan. Once na magustuhan niya yung outputs mo at ang working relationship nyo, sa pa mismo ang pwedeng mag-offer ng mga client sa'yo. Huwag na huwag mong sisirain ang tiwala ni client. Sa virtual careers, it's our own terms, right? Proof to them na paninindigan mo yung terms na binigay mo. Malaking factor ang trust, loyalty, and integrity. Kasi tulad yan, hindi naman talaga nila... At sa akin, sa terms ko kasi, hindi nila sa tatlong clients ko abroad, hindi nila monitor yung oras ko. So, yung isa, si first client, ngayon, 5 hours ako sa kanya daily. Second client, 5 hours per week. Katulad ni third client, 5 hours per week. So, ang binigay kong term sa kanila. Pero hindi nila monitor talaga yung oras ko, which is nasa sa akin na lang kung lolokohin ko sila. Parang uh, pinagkakatiwalaan na nga ako, lolokohin ko pa ba sila? Then, kailangan iparamdam mo sa kanya yung loyalty mo. In si first client kasi, nakaramdam ako sa kanya no, na parang uh, natakot siya, na baka mapabayaan ko siya since may, may na-recommend siya sa akin, which is honestly, mas malaki ang binabayad sa akin. Uh, mas malaki pa yung tag rate na binigay sa akin nung mga ni-recommend niya kaysa sa binabayad niya. Natakot siya na baka maset aside siya or makaramdam siya na papabayaan ko na yung business niya or hindi ko na siya napapansin. Hindi, uh, sinigurado ko na hindi niya mararamdaman yon dahil ayoko maramdaman niya yon Kasi sa kanya nang galing yung bang clients. Ang naloob ko yun sa kanya, talaga naman honestly yon Pero, ayun, wag na wag Huwag na magpapabayaan ng kahit na sino mang client. Uh, take good care of your relationships with them. How do you make him feel that? Do you use, it, do you use words or actions or both? Both po. Talagang, um, paano nga ba na-open yun? Ganun siya eh. Uh, kasi sobrang naging close na po kayo. Eh. Gusto ko talaga siyang i-reassure na ang natatakot rin siya kasi alam niyang uh, hindi pa ako ganun kagamay sa mga bagay-bagay, katulad po sa website and um, videos noon na agaw, ma, medyo mahaba pa akong oras nag-spend para makatapos ng gawain noon. Um, natakot siya. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, I'm willing to extend my hours. Sabi ko sa kanya ganun kung kinakailangan. Kasi ayoko talaga pong mapabayaan siya. Tapos sa gawa sa Paramdam ko din yun through actions na talagang uh, kung ano yung task ko sa kanya, natatapos ko kung kailan ko deadline. And then, uh, updated po siya lagi through email. So, yun po yung ways na pinaramdam ko. Pinaramdam ko po sa kanya yung loyalty ko. Uh, yun na po yung tips ko for That's on how to get. Ano yun, sir? Sabi ko, ang galing nun, if you were re listening very well, Please write down what Andrea just said. Those are practical advice that you yes, can do to ensure loyalty to your clients. I have not heard this in any webinar or podcast or article or book. So that's very, very important. Kung nakalimutan nyo, may rewind mamaya. Okay? Andrea, go for it. Yes po. Okay po. Okay, continue ko na po yung sa story. Um, July 1st, na publish ko po yung website ni third client. Sabay ko pa pong ginagawa nito ang website ng isang private school dito sa Bulacan. This time, I honestly felt stressed and overwhelmed. Kadagdag pa po yung biglang pagre-resign ng kasambahay namin dito dahil mag-aaral raw siya. Now, this lady is another very good friend of mine who gave me the opportunity to revise their private school's website. Negotiation is, I don't have to spend money for Chloe's education as long as I stay with them. Uh, hindi po ako required mag-office sa kanila every day. Wala akong required working hours per day. But of course, pinigurado ko rin na hindi sila malulugi sa akin. Dito po sa naging terms ko dito, um, 
Ang nangyari, ang payment ko sa schooling ni Chloe ay yung service ko sa kanila. So, since ang klase po ni Chloe is 12.30 to 3.30, um, since iahatid ko naman siya at susunduin din after 3 hours, yun po yung naging time ko para mag-work pa sa kanila. So, binigyan pa po nila ako ng sariling table and office para makapag-work sa office nila. But, hindi po ako required. For example, na since nung nakaraan may bagyo, walang pasok si Chloe, wala rin akong pasok. Or, pwede ako magpaalam na kahit ihatid ko si Chloe, and then pwede ko sabihin sa kanila na may kailangan akong asikasuhin at that time na may kailangan ako asikasuhin sa labas, I'll just have to inform them hindi ako makakapunta and it's okay. Yun po talaga, sobrang free ko and nayagan din nila akong wala akong masyadong wala akong trabaho sa kanila natapos ko yung mga kailangan kong gawin. Pwede kong gawin yung trabaho ko for my other clients kahit nandun ako sa school. So sobrang blessing po na wala akong nilalabas na pera para sa education ni Chloe, ng daughter ko. So, it's a very good, it's a uh, blessing po talaga para sa akin. Yeah. Yes po. Now, with all of my four clients, while taking care of a preschooler habang walang kasambahay, I still manage to maintain my work-life balance. And here are some of my tips. Please take note po na sa akin, nag-work to. Siyempre, iba-iba po tayo ng diskarte at sitwasyon so, share ko lang po kung ano po yung nag-work sa akin. Baka po sakali, mag-work din po sa iba. Set your priorities. Meron po ako isang napanood na vlog. Isa sa mga pinafollow kong mompreneur sa Facebook. And she mentioned na, actually English po ito, tinagalog ko na lang kasi hindi ko na siya ma-English ulit. Hindi magiging cause ng kamatay ng family members mo kung isiset aside mo saglit ang paglinis ng microwave. Parang it just meant na kailangan mong alamin kung ano ang dapat mong unahin at kung ano ang pwedeng mamaya na. But of course, make sure na babalikan mo yon kapag nakaluwag ka na sa oras. So make sure din na ano, hindi siya ganun ka. For example, may nakakalat na laroan na alam mo namang delikado since tatakbo yung daughter mo. Yung alam mong pwede ng mamaya, guhugas ng tinggan. Totoo lang po, sobrang OC ko sa paglilinis ng bahay, Sir Jomar. Uh, nung wala pa akong work for nine months, talagang uh, linis talaga ako ng bahay. Natutunan ko din yan kasi sa sa previous work ko, cleanliness po. So, mas naging OC ako. Pero habang nagtatagal na mas nagiging busy ako, mas dumadami yung priorities ko. Pag-aaral ni Chloe na dagdag. Tapos dumagdag si clients. Parang alam ko na kailangan meron akong iset aside eh. Kaya natutunan medyo mudugyot. <laughs> Natututo na akong um, pwedeng mamaya na lang pag nakatapos ako ng nakabackup ako ng trabaho sa ako maghugas ng pinggan. Kasi hindi ko na rin po ganun pinagtatrabaho yung mami ko dito kasi um, ayoko na rin siya ganun pinapagalaw kasi she's already 52 years old. Bata pa naman pero syempre gusto ko ano yung kaya ko, yun po yung gagawin ko. Next is to know yourself. Lalanin mo yung sarili mo kung ikaw ba yung tipo ng tao na kailangan may susundin na schedule or ikaw yung tipo na mas nakakadiskarte kapag wala kang schedule. Sa akin kasi wala akong definite schedule na sinusunod. Basta sinisigurado ko lang na maaga ako gigising, it's either 5 or 6 a.m. Nakakagalaw kasi ako at nakaka-work noon habang tulog si daughter. Kapag medyo nalate ako ng gising, babawi ako ng work sa gabi yun ang nagiging um, uh, routine ko. Hindi siya schedule actually. Parang yun ang nakasanayan ko. Wake up early. Pero wala akong sinusunod ng kahit anong schedule. You know how to be flexible and proactive. Um, hindi sa lahat ng araw matutad or magagawa mo yung plano mo, lalo na may anak ka. You should learn how to react positively sa mga delays or sa mga biglaang change of plans. Lagi ko sinasabi sa sarili ko, maghanap ka ng positive sa mga negative. For example, sobrang dami mong pending works, pero biglang nawalan ng internet. Isip ka agad ng paraan how to inform your client agad-agad. Minsan nga, pag may scheduled call ako, tapos few hours pa lang before, the, before that call, sobrang lakas na ng ulan, ini-inform ko kaagad si client 
na baka mawala ng internet or ilaw para ano man ang mangyari, alam na nila kung bakit hindi nila ako makukontak. Kung mawawalan man ng internet, I have more extra time to play with my daughter or to do some household chores. Kasi mag ako or mag sa nangyayari, wala naman ako magagawa. So parang being proactive na lang ako. Ano yung pwede kong, ano kung magiging productive at that time na hindi naman talaga nakaplanong yun ang mangyayari sa buhay ko. <laughs> Give yourself a break. May mga araw na tatama rin ka mag-work or feeling mo pagod na pagod ka na for the whole week na nag-work ka. Normal lang naman tama rin at mapagod. Bigyan mong sarili mong magpahinga at mag-scroll ng konti sa Facebook at Instagram. Bangin mo rin ang sarili mo, watch a movie or go shopping or just simply take a nap. Sa mga panahon na natamad ako, meron talagang times na sobrang full day, parang pagkagising ko pa lang, ay wala ito. Walang kwento yung sarili ko ngayon para mag-work. Ginagawa ko talaga is pinapabayaan ko yung sarili ko, hindi ako nag-work. But I have to inform my client. I'll tell them na kasi syempre, maghihintay sila ng email ko, ng report ko for that day. Ang gagawin ko, I'll inform them na, I'm sorry, I cannot, uh, hindi ko magagawa itong, hindi ako makakapagtrabaho this day. I'll just offset my hours for the next day. I'm honest na i-offset ko yung, yung oras na, yung araw na hindi ko na trabaho. Tang, tagang, uh, kung wala ako sa mood magtrabaho, hindi ko pinupira sa yung sarili ko. Kasi alam ko yung sarili ko na once na nagtatrabaho ko, alam ko kung ano yung nagagawa ko. Always find time to spend uh, with your family. Madalas kami may bigla ang yayaan na kumain sa labas or magmoling. Masama ako kahit may pending works ako. Kasi above all this, oras sa pamilya ko ang mahalaga sa akin. I can always adjust basta walang masasacrifice na client. Nga, kadalasan naman, basta, kung ko, pag may mga biglaan kasi, wala, talaga sumasama ako. Once na talagang um, kaya ko, alam kong meron akong uh, ample of time pa na makakapagtrabaho, or magbabak up na lang ako sa gabi, mag-stay up late ako, basta sumasama ako sa kahit anong activities kasi, yun nga yung dahilan kung bakit ako na virtual career. So, yun yung dahilan kung bakit ako nag-resign sa previous work ko. Para kahit anong event sa buhay namin, uh, paghatid sa airport, simple kain sa labas, punta sa ibang lugar, vacation, nandun ako, present ako kasama ng pamilya ko. And now, to end po, this is the quote na talagang nag inspire sa akin simula pa lang sa first webinar. Ito pa rin po yung quote ko hanggang ngayon. Do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do. I'm still following this quote kasi it inspires me to push myself more para maabot ko yung gusto ko pang mangyari and that is to make my husband stay here in the Philippines for good. So I have to do na talagang I have to be loyal. I have to learn more. I have to do good to my clients. Kailangan ko magtrabaho ng mabuti para ma-achieve ko kung ano yung gusto namin ng husband ko na tutulungan niya ako sa online business namin. Yun po, Sir Jomar. Hello po. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Andrea, for the inspiring quotes from on Oprah Winfrey. Do yeah, what sure. you have to do until you can do what you want to do. Yes, sir. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, I actually went to Facebook and put this on Facebook Live on my personal account. So you can actually watch it there also. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, keep it <laughs> anyway, a few people joined. So hello to those people in uh, Facebook Live. And that was me, that was Andrea, my guest for today. Andrea, ano, lagay mo yung slide yung may mukha mo. Hindi mo meron ka slide dyan. Back up mo lang ng konti. Para uh, you what your beautiful face looks like. So at least, <laughs> alam nila na hindi ako ito. <laughs> okay po, sir. Asan As nga ba yun, sir? Uh, ito na lang, sir. Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan. Okay, sir. Sige. Andrea, Andrea Viernes, her second webinar for today. And one of, one success story coming off uh, this year, from last year, 
uh, on virtual careers. Yes, Mayroon yes. ba kayong tanong for Andrea? Andrea, anong oras ko dapat matulog? Ngayon na, 10 o'clock. <laughs> hindi sir, anytime po for now, para po sa inyo sir. No, eh, para sa inyo, hindi naman sa akin, para sa kanila, nag-usap ka tayo. Yes, so, po. Yes, everyone, po. do you have questions for Andrea? Please type it in the chat room uh, right now. Uh, for just to make sure, you know, you, you heard me. Can you just type the words, I heard you? <laughs> so, let me know sa chat room, I heard you, para alam kung you actually heard me say questions in the chat room. And, and for those of you who are in Facebook, you can just type in your questions. I don't actually know how to type in questions in Facebook. Marunong naman kayo, di ba? So, please do. Hey, Andrea, we can see your, ano, we can see you moving around in Canva. So, sabi hindi nila alam, nagka-canva ka pala. <laughs> okay, so, sir. Okay, tip po. number 11, pwede palang gamitin ng Canva para, guma para gumawa ng presentation. <laughs> so, that's big, big tip to everyone there. First time ko yes. din nakita na may nag-demo using Canva. <laughs> okay, po, sir. Sorry. <laughs> And, okay lang yun. It's actually great because uh, it, it teaches people that you can actually use a tool like Canva. To, yes. To make a presentation. And nobody noticed, diba? Did you guys notice na kakanba siya? No. Mabilis siya, eh. Kakanba. Of course, obviously, the catch is wala kang internet, wala kang kanba. Okay? So here's my, uh, uh, so I'm, we're still waiting for you. Nalin, tinatanong niya, how did you start as a VA? Sige, maybe, maybe you can ask that. Paano ka? Ay, yung, ay, yung startup story mo, maybe in a few sentences. Andrea. Ah, uh, startup. Okay. Like, Ayun nga po you... si yeah. Yeah. Yung yung friend ko po, siya ang nag-introduce sa akin sa virtual careers. Um, doubtful ako noon kasi wala po akong kaibigan na virtual assistant. So wala akong mapagtanungan as in at ang personal mo makakausap. So, ang ginawa ko po is nag-search ako sa YouTube ng mga videos po ni Sir Jomar. Ito po muna yung pinanood ko hangga't hindi pa ako uh, prepared to uh, mag, para mag-training po. So, hanggat hindi pa rin ako parang convinced. So, nag-watch po ako ng video sa YouTube and then po, um, hanggang sa tututunan ko na nagiging familiar na ako, um, umaattend na po ako ng Monday webinars na dati talagang, etong Monday webinars na so nakikinig lang ako, na nai-inspire lang ako dati, na naiingit lang ako dati sa mga trabaho hmm. ng mga ini-interview ni Sir Jomar. Ngayon, second time ko nang nag- in interview. So, Monday webinars po, attend kayo. Sobrang helpful po siya. Like, uh, ito po ngayon. Tapos po, um, and then I bought po the book ni Sir Jomar. And then, um, mas, basa ko siya, pero mas gusto ko pang matuto. So, bumili po ako ng training ni Sir Jomar. Actually, dalawang training po ang binili ko. And then, unang training, doon na po ako nag-start ng assignment. Yung VA 2013 downloadable. And then, sumunod po, binili ko po is Instant Virtual Skills 2015. Yun po. Did you attend? I can't remember. Did you attend or were you online? Hindi, sir. Online lang po. Kaya hindi pa rin po tayo nag-meet. Hindi pa tayo nag-meet. Opo, online lang, sir. Online na kami nag-meet. Ah, net. Yes, so, pwede palang matuto ng hindi sumisipot sa live events. <laughs> Yes, nasa bahay lang po ako. Ang dami ko ng prating, sir, dahil sa inyo. Wow. Okay. So that's how you started. You're doubtful, okay. doubtful ka. But your friend told you about it. What changed between your friend told you about it, doubtful ka, what was the middle point na nagbago mundo mo? Your first <laughs> webinar or what? Webinars po, malaking bagay ang webinars kasi na-convince ako sa ganitong sharing na parang mas na-familiarize talaga ako kung paano ba. Kasi isang malaking question mark yung paano. Parang paano sila maniniwalang nagtrabaho ka ng gantong oras? Paano mo makakatanggap ka ba talaga ng bayad? Since ang dami po talagang scam, di ba po? Alam naman po natin yan. And isa pa po talaga malaking factor is yung endorsement ni Brother Bo Sanchez. So, yun po, tagang webinars and yung promotes po ni Brother Bo, yun po, malaking tulong po. Okay, wow. So, thank you very much for the question, my dear. Kasi naman siya, may tabunan na yung 
name niya si Nalil. So let, a question from Sabrina is a math question. Alam niyo bakit nag Sabrina is actually driving right now. Sabrina asking, <laughs> how long did it took you to get a job online, I suppose? Ah, naku, mahabang point din po iyan. Ano lang niya? <laughs> Calendar days? <laughs> Calendar base. Eh kasi sir, di ba may dahilan yun kung bakit ako na-delay yung sa bahay namin. Um, sa, sa panibagong webinar po yun. So ganito siya. <laughs> Ay, ganito, um, hindi po. Uh, paano ba ito? Uh, Including po, delay? December. December. Very, very much. Five months po. Limang buwan. Five months. Five months ako naghintay kasi wala akong internet connection noon. Ah, yun pala. Yun lang. Yun, yun, lang. yun, yun lang, yun lang, sir. Yun lang trabaho sa internet kung wala kang internet connection. Yes, and I and I believe po na destiny yun kasi kung kung, kung karoon ako ng clients within that five months na hindi ako nakapaghintay, hindi mapupunta sa akin si first client na sobrang perfect ko sa kanya. So, destiny po kami, naniniwala ako dun. It's a right timing. Your first client was a really good for you, no? Nagustuhan mo talaga yes. siya. Kanya, yes talaga. po, sir. Uh, yes talaga sir, sobrang blessing po siya sa akin. Alam niya po yan, sinasabi ko yan sa kanya. And even po yung husband niya, ay husband, wife niya, nakikipag-communicate po sa akin. Uh, ayun, nagte-thank you din po na tinutulungan po yung husband niya sa business. So, sobrang grateful po ako sa kanila. Siling. Siling. So, gawa. Um, wala na kayong tanong? Sige. <laughs> Tanong mo question, nakakalungkot for, naman. For, for the sake of those na hindi alam, hindi naman nila alam eh. What are the... Ayun, tinatanong ni Smile. Foreigner ba yung first client mo? Anong gamit okay. for web design? I think she's asking too. Okay po. Sa yung first client, first and second client ko, they are both from Chicago. Yung third client ko po ay from New England. And then, yung fourth po is dito sa Bulacan. Um, yung ginagamit ko po for web development is WordPress. WordPress lang po. Okay, somebody's also asking, um, um, what, uh, what's Ganong katagal na kayong in love ng no? first client? Ay, nagwo-work with the first client. <laughs> <laughs> nagwo-work ni first client. Uh, lagpas na po kami one year. Uh, ano na po? Um, one year and three months. One year, and, one year three and three months. And yung sa first year, first year anniversary ko po sa kanya, nag-increase po siya. Uy, okay, nag-increase. Um, wow. You yes po. Ay, sir, hindi ko pa rin po pala nabanggit nung December, nag-ano pa siya, nagbigay pa siya ng incentive sa akin, parang pa Christmas daw niya. And it's a very big amount. Nagulat ako. Mm -hmm. uh, na parang sabi lang niya, nag magkausap kami sa phone call. Kasama pa niya yung wife niya. Tapos, parang sabi niya, paano ba magpadala ng, magpadala daw siya ng pera sa paper nang hindi naman ako nagbigay ng invoice. Mm -hmm. Parang may tatry lang daw siya. So parang feeling ko magtatry siya siguro mga one dollar. Parang tatry lang niya talaga. Tapos sabi niya sa akin bigla, can you please check your PayPal account? Katigil ko, oh my gosh. Parang sabi ko, bakit? At yun talaga parang, wow. Parang, ano yun, <laughs> hindi sir, basta parang, gulat talaga ako. Sabi, <laughs> basta yun po, talagang nagulat ako na, parang bakit? Tapos yun nga sabi nila, Isip daw nila ng wife niya na yan daw ako ng parang pa thank you this Christmas, yun po. Last Christmas. Kasi naman, maganda business ng client mo eh. Hmm. Mata okay. Malaki talaga. <laughs> <Business. laughs> malaki talaga pera eh. Okay. Oh, oh. Nasaan tayo? Maraming nagtatanong dito. Um, website po daw. What's your website? Anong ni Ann? Ah, uh, eto lang po ang aking kulangan. Hindi ko po na maintain na yung website ko, honestly. So dati po it. <laughs> Ayun, sir. Meron naman. Yung ano yun, sir, yung notyourordinaryva.com/blog. 
Doon po siya. So, pero hindi na talaga siya working. Uh, hindi ko talaga siya na-maintain. Talagang... Gamit mo nung para makakuha ng isang client? Yes po. Yes po. Yan po yung, web, yung, po yung website na yon na ginamit ko para nakuha si first client. Yun po yung ginawa. Kasi yun po yung assignment ko. Sorry, yung not your ordinary ba.com slash blog. Yun po yung naging assignment ko. And yun po talaga yung portfolio ko sa sa onlinejobs.ph and upwork.com. Yun po yung dahilan. Yung assignment po na yun ang dahilan kung bakit ko nakuha si first client. Ayan. Yes so, po. Malaking... Jobs.ph. Tapos... Malaking... Oh. Yes po. Malaking factor po talagang matapos ang assignment. It's your online presence o yung online uh, proof mo na kailang ka sa virtual world. Oh, very good. Yan na yung website para sa mga nagtatanong. May nagtatanong, pang gabi ka ba ng trabaho? Night shift? No. <laughs> Zara. No po, I don't have my definite work time. Uh, wala po talaga. So parang any time of the day, any day of the week. Kadalasan, minsan, kadalasan tinatamad na akong mag-work ng Friday kasi wala na akong calls ng Friday. So, ayun nga lang ang mali ko. Minsan, no, offset ng Saturday or Sunday. Basta kasi kahit kailan ni eh, kahit kailan ko siya gustong gawin, yun, wala. As in, sobrang free ako sa oras. Basta mm. gusto ko, minsan nga nagugulat na, pa sila client na parang ang dami ko biglang nire-report sa kanila na parang sa isang araw lang, two days or three days na yung covered. Nun silang natutuwa na parang kaya sobrang tiwala na sila sa oras na tinatrabaho ko. Okay. So, yes, magtanong, ako nasasagot ng iba, si Paolo, saan ka nag-apply para makakuha ng first client? Onlinejobs.ph Yes, ako, po. NBB is asking, ano yung machine mo? Is it a laptop or a PC? Oh, this is po, uh, laptop lang po. Laptop, Windows. Windows laptop lang. Tinatanong Acer mo. lang. Acer lang siya. Okay. Ah, uh, hindi na umaandar yung Not Your Ordinary VA mo na website? Yes Wala. po, not working na po talaga. Ikaw, sorry, sensya na kayo. Pero okay magalala, makikita niyo yung mga tutorials ni Andrea sa slide share. I found it. All 10 tutorials. Wow, well, nakita mo sir. Hindi ko na uli siya nabalikan. Okay. You know that your slide share tutorials have 1,000 plus views each. Oh my gosh, hindi ko na alam. Talaga, nakakatuwa pa. Very, ano, each one, ha? each one of your tutorials. 1,000 plus ba, sir? Yes. Oh, wabalikan ko nga yan. Andrea Viernes slide share. Makikita niyo yung tutorials na ginawa ni Andrea. For those of you who are first-timers, the tutorials or the assignment, that's the same thing. And that's what's required um, from the book, Virtual Careers, from my seminars. That's what's required for you to do if you want to impress clients in an extremely short time, which is create 10 tutorials na PowerPoint, na upload mo sa internet, pakita mo sa, show off mo sa client that you know how to do web apps. Yan. And that's what she did. And kailan niya naman, ganda ng story mo, Andrea, kasi pwede pala, gumitin mo yung website. Pag may client ka na, pabayaan mo na yung website. <laughs> Hindi, sir. Ito, sir, um, isha-share ko lang din po pala, sir, kasi gusto ko rin talaga ito ikwento sa inyo. Kasi katulad po ngayon, I'm inspiring, I'm trying to inspire other people po na i-push tong virtual careers para nga mag, wag na mag 9 to 5 work, wag na mag OFW. But then yung husband ko is seaman po, di ba, sir? Mm -hmm. So, ang inaano ko sa kanya ngayon, nahikayat ko naman sa sir, na dito sa mundo natin, sa virtual careers world, na actually interesado na siya itong pag-uwi niya. Um, Magsa-start na siya, sir, naaralin yung ginagawa ko to help me. Kasi nga, katulad niyan for clients na medyo talagang, ano na, hirap na, pero kaya pa naman, sir. Pero mas gagaan kung may katulong na ako, which is, ang naisip kong best na katulong is siya. Kasi syempre, di ba po, parang, <laughs> and, and si ano sir, si first client po, siya nga yung nag-open nga na gusto niya, kasi sobrang dami daw po niya ng mabibigay talagang clients na hindi pa niya mabigay since busy nga daw po ako. So, uh, siya ang nagsabi sa akin na bakit hindi ako maghanap ng manpower na merong sa social media, merong sa 
video marketing, meron sa website, meron sa telemarketing, meron sa clerical. So parang um, yun po talaga yung goal ko ngayon. Sana sir kung may interview niya po po ulit ako, yun na yung isha-share ko na meron na akong website na nakapaloob dun po yung mga taong teammates ko na tutulong sa akin para matulungan ko yung mga clients na na-refer ni first client. Yun yeah. po yung goal ko ngayon, sir. Common. It's a common great problem, actually. Because yes, pag gusto ka na ni client, uh, gusto ka niyang i-refer. Pero, siyempre, ayaw naman niyang mawala ka sa kanya. <laughs> Yes po, totoo yan, sir. Naiintindihan ko naman po yun and nagtatakot rin ako. Ayoko rin po talagang may mapabayaan, sir. Kasi Important. pangit yung tanggap ka ng tanggap, hindi mo naman na kaya. Wala na silang lahat. <laughs> Ayun po. Okay, sagutin natin ang tanong ni, Jay, ni, ano, ni, ni Roda. Hi, Andrea and Jay, Sir Jason. Yan ang aking, aking bagong pangalan ngayon. Ask, sir Jason, okay. Tawagin mo akong Sir Jason. Ah, ko lang po kung meron na anong job ang pwede sa wala pang experience sa freelancing. So, sa, ay, ikaw na tumang, ikaw na sumagot. Andrea, maganda yan, maganda yan. Then, sir, kung ano ang? Tawagin mo kung Sir Jason. Ay, sir Jason, ano po? Andrea, <laughs> sa tanong, sa tanong ni Roda, uh, anong job ang pwede sa wala pang experience sa freelancing? Don't get us wrong, this is an excellent question. Andrea knows how to answer it. Go. <laughs> okay po. Um, okay, based on my experience po, okay po. Uh, kasi nalab ko muna yung sarili ko through DISC. Doon po sa DISC na assessment. And then, um, doon po ako nag, ano, nag, nag, follow, nag, play po ako sa social media management. Actually, wala po ako talagang proper training kung ano po yung sa social media management. Um, as in, parang willingness lang kasi to learn eh. Since ang Facebook, andyan na siya. Facebook, alam mo na siyang galawin. Uh, huwag ka na lang matakot mag-explore at matuto. Hindi po. Um, social media management kasi yung una kong naging work sa Jomari. Eh. Hmm. Kaya parang yun po yung masas- masasabi ko, masasagot ko. Okay, very good. Galing. Uh, ang sagot ko naman dyan, kung wala kang experience sa freelancing, um, define natin well. Uh, sabihin mo nga, yes, Sir Jason. Define natin. <laughs> I know who, you, I know who you, you mean. But anyway, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but I have an idea who you did. My high school classmate. Anyway. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Uh, if you wala kang experience in freelancing, the first thing you need to understand is working online has very little difference between working in freelancing versus working uh, sa opisina. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, tama, tama. Malit lang ang difference. Um, alam mo na ang difference eh. Um, walang mama sa likod mo na nakatingin. Walang mm-hmm. band. Walang uniform. Walang... Pag may bagyo, may pasok ka pa rin. <laughs> diba? Yes, yes. Alit mawala ka na internet. Okay? So, all that stuff, madali. Yung sinasabi niyang experience sa freelancing, actually, you mean, Roda, wala kang experience sa online task or online jobs. Yun ang wala kang experience. Kaya, sabi ni Andrea, it's easier to just do social media marketing kasi kung addicted ka naman sa Facebook, meron kang idea ano ba yung like, no? Yes. Page, how do you comment using an emoji? Meron ka bang ganang emoji? Ano? <laughs> oh, yes ma- po. And pag nakikipag mo na kasi yung mga marketing sa Facebook, yung may sponsored, parang oh. magkaka-idea ka na paano nila ginagawa yung marketing? Paano nila nakakatch yung attention mo? Di ba? Yun. Ganun. It's like looking at a Facebook post na napaklik ka, you know, bright side. Yes, okay. yes. Tapos sabi mo, bakit ba ako na, bakit ba ako nahihila nitong bright side na to in analyzing? Uy, yung ginawa nilang picture ganito eh. Kaya, napa, may, may pulang bilog. Bakit may pulang bilog yung picture? Hindi ko naman tanong ka ng tanong. Nag-click ka tuloy. So, yes. Yung, 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 pag nakakita ka ng picture na may pulang bilog at nagpo-promote ka, anong gagawin mo sa picture? Maglalagay ka ng pulang bilog. 
Okay. <laughs> Those of you who don't understand the pinong pulang bilog. Okay, magalala sa Facebook ko, lalagay ako ng maraming pictures bukas na may pulang bilog. <laughs> Action nila. Also, join us sa Jomar Hilario Virtual Careers. Meron din pulang bilog akong lalagay ng mga posts. Kaya you know exactly what I mean. So, I have a free Facebook group called Jomar Hilario Virtual Careers. And you can just ask questions there. But most of it, um, we, we, we show the replays there. We also show the mapping pulang bilog. <laughs> no, absolutely. Okay, I hope we were able to answer your question. Roda, at hindi dumugo ang puso mo. Kasi, sinagot ko naman eh. Diba? Sabihin mo, thank you, Sir Jason. <laughs> okay. We're just having fun. I hope that's yes, not, but... I hope that's not illegal. Tanong ni Smile, ano ang previous skills mo sa WordPress? Meron ka bang? Tapos tanong pa nga ni Edward is, marunong ka ba mag-backend sa WordPress? <laughs> Yes po, um, I can do back-end po sa WordPress and I don't know if I can, I know I, I can probably say kasi po nakailang websites na ako and uh, yes, back-end po ang ginagamit ko. Hindi siya coding, pero nakaka, na, natutunan ko na rin pong makaintindi ng coding. Uh, self-taught lang po kasi ako sa WordPress honestly dahil nga si first client pinag-try niya akong gumawa ng website. Uh, na sarili kong oras na actually one month ko at uh, tapos yung una niyang una kong website sa kanya. So, ayun po. Yes, I can do back-end. Uh, by self-taught lang po ako. Okay. So, Pakialam lang po. Pakialam. <laughs> so, your client helped you start that your first uh, WordPress blog dahil sa kanya kaya ka natutunan. Dahil sa kanya, nabinigyan niya ako ng oras na, ayan, sige, ikaw bahala, i-revise mo yung website ko, gawin mo yung website ko, ikaw bahala. Ganun lang po. Pero sa guidance, wala po. Hindi rin po siya familiar talaga sa WordPress. Google, Google lang. Yes po. Ang naging ano ko, sir, ang naging background ko is yung sa assignment. Kasi po, di ba, may ano po, doon paggawa nga ng website. Yung po talaga yung naging background ko. No, tama. Yun ang mag-ingin ang background, yung assignment. Yes po. So, tanong dito, pwede mong sagutin, pwede mong sagutin ang mga another way. Si Anne, okay lang ba i-share mo ang entry date mo as VA? Ako may variation ako sa kanya yan. Entry date po? Entry rate, kung magkano yung ilagay mo sa online jobs at VH. Ah, entry rate. Uh, uh, at ganito na lang, uh, kasi nung sa application ko, Ano ba to? Sa application ko, nagbigay ako ng certain rate. Hmm. Uh, and then, ang nakakatuwa, si first client, nga, nung during the interview ko, sabi niya, just wait, babalikan daw niya ako. So, after two days, nakareceive ako ng email sa kanya kung willing pa daw ba ako mag-start sa kanya. And ang nakakatuwa doon is, dinagdagan niya ng 2,000 pesos higher yung yeah. rate binigay ko. So, hindi ko na nga lang natanong sa kanya kung bakit niya dinagdagan yung rate na binigay ko pero tinaasan pa niya ng 2,000 pesos more. Yun po. Sorry, hindi ko po masashare yung <laughs> actual amount. So, ayun. So, yan. Maganda yan. Mas magandang kwento yan. Kasi, um, we don't want to be fixated with amounts. Ibang grupo na lang yung salihan nyo kung gusto niyo ma-fixate sa pesos. Uh, we <laughs> don't want to be fixated with the fact that whatever your amount you put, clients can start to give you more. Diba? Yes po. Alin, diba? Uh, the, your client is uh, thinking on value. Can you just type yes, that po, in? Yes sir. Value thinker in client. Um, sobrang blessed ka. Sobra as talaga ang, sir. Ang client mo. Kasi hindi ka tinitipit when it comes okay. to amounts being paid to you. Alam niya yung value na naibibigay mo. Yun. Yes sir. Yes, Ada yan. Galing sa online jobs at PH yung first client. And the first client yes, po. there. You're still, still under that first client. Kaya bawal sabihin ng rates. <laughs> <laughs> yes po, tama. Parang sweldo yan sa office, bawal sabihin sa office mates. Okay? Uh, mm-hmm. I know you guys understand. Gusto nyo lang, mala- gusto nyo lang tanungin. Pero hindi talaga pwede sabihin. Okay. I can't find any more questions, but I know you have some questions na hindi ko nakita. Um, I, I just want to say thank you again to Andrea for 
giving her time uh, to us tonight. We're not saying goodbye. I'm just saying proper things. Okay, bye on. <laughs> okay, listen. Yes, po. Yes, uh, po. Thank you, uh, Sir Jomar. Salamat din. Sabrina is asking, yung assignments na nasa slide siya, nakalagay po yun sa website dati. Yes, po. Ano siya? Kasi ang assignment ni Sir Jomar is to finish at least 10 um, tutorials uh, 100 slides each, so 1,000 slides po yan, all in all, ay embed mo po sa website. Bakit kailangan gawin yun? Hindi ko rin siya noon naintindihan kung bakit. So parang, <laughs> malaking question yun kung bakit. So ngayon, <laughs> naintindihan ko ngayon. Sino ba yung joma na yan? Mag-explain. Hindi sir. Kasi uh, ngayon, uh, yun yung magiging ano mo siya proof mo. Kasi online lang tayo eh. Parang paano mo patutunayan sa magiging prospect client mo na kaya mo. So parang to show them that you are an expert na kaya mong matuto, na kaya mong gawin ng mga bagay-bagay, na kaya mong mabusising gumawa ng 1,000 slides para gumawa ng tutorial sa mga different platforms and websites na alam mong gawin. Ah... Uh, Yun, yun ang makakahikayat sa kanila para i-hire ka. Isipin mo, makikita ni client, oh, may sarili siyang website, sarili niyang gawa. Tapos, meron siyang uh, in, uh, tutorials na siya rin ang gumawa. Ang sobrang expert mo sa mga sa mga platforms na yun na talagang ginawan mo pa siya ng tutorials. Which is, nun mo lang din naman natutunan o nalaman kasi uh, dahil sa gapagawa uh, ng assignment, so, ayun po. Yes. Answer, yes po. Uh, embedded po yung slide shares na yan sa websites ko noon. Yeah. Paki-explain paki na lang dyan sa Jomar na yan. Hindi, hindi daw clear. Yes, sir. Naman eh. Hindi, siguro, sir, parang tanong lang talaga sa akin. Parang, siguro dumating lang din sa point na, bakit ko nga ba kailangan gawin to? Pero yun, sir, step by step, natututunan ko. Kasi step by step, kapag ginagawa ko din yung tutorial, pa-familiarize ako dun sa platform, ay eh, natututo ako kung paano siya gamitin. Yun po. Ang mga, by the way, ang mga ginamit na platform ni, ano, ni Andrea, luma na. Yung mga apps yes. na ginamit niya, luma. Yes, so, okay lang kahit hindi nyo makita. Kasi so, luma na nga eh. <laughs> yun ang tingnan. Two years, ago na po, two years ago na po kasi siya. Uh, wala na rin po, hindi na po nag-exist yung kanyang website. Uh, you can see a screenshot of it, I think, dun sa previous, um, type nyo Andrea Biernes, merong webinar kami last June 2016. Lagyan ko na rin dun sa, ano, sa Facebook group, yung link to the previous webinar, so you can see the update, anong, kung anong progress sa buhay ni Andrea. Oh, so may video, may video pa ako dun, sir, yung tatlong video na in-upload. Self, sarili oh. kong video. Oh, oh, introduce ah, myself. Ah, diba, sir? You did video introducing yourself, yes? Yes, tatlong video po yun. Grabe. Hindi mo, ang ganda nun, kasi ang dating parang, I'm so confident. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm so confident, kahit hindi talaga noon. <laughs> Ito nga ang tanong eh, everyone here na gusto mag-virtual professional. Can, do you know how to shoot a selfie video introducing yourself? Sagutin nyo nga yan, tanong na yan. Do you know how to shoot a selfie video introducing yourself? And how many of you are going to say, nakakahiya, ayoko, hindi ako marunong? Pag sinabi hindi kayo marunong, sisinungaling kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi you mean hindi kayo marunong mag-selfie video? That's impossible, right? Marunong kayo mag-selfie video. Si Andrea, ang nawa niya sa YouTube, at saka doon sa website niya, nag-upload siya ng selfie video. Hi, my name is Andrea, ganyan-ganyan. Sa bahay nga ang shoot nun, no, di ba? Nothing... Yes po, naganap lang ako ng spot. <laughs> oh, walang, walang, nothing special about the shot. Walang extra light. Yes. Meron... Wala lang, po, wala po. Nag-ano lang, nag-introduce yun sa sarili niya. And that's really different because um, ang client, takot yan sa inyo. Kasi sabi nga, takot sila sa akin. Hindi <laughs> 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 ka nila alam kung malulukohin mo sila. Alam niyo ba yes. yun? Foreigners, hiring Filipinos, only because they heard John Jonas talk about it. They heard Chris Tucker talk about it. But once they have a Filipino website, web page, blog, 
face mo yung nandoon they have no idea what kind of person you are so mas takot sila so kasi yes. video ka then file ka lang doon kung may salamin ka tanggalin mo di ba Andrea yes wala pa mo salamin na contacts po ako noon so kung gusto mo magsalamin magsalamin ka alam mo yon just pakilala mo na sarili mo in a nice very short selfie video and pakita mo ng tutorials and they will feel at ease pakita nga at ease and wala yan sa libro wala yan sa virtual careers ng book ko so that's a new thing that we will put in the next version of the book you know record a selfie video of yourself and wag masyadong mayabang kasi yung mga sabi hindi hindi ako mayabang lang kayo kasi kung ganyan niyo yan gagawa kayo ng selfie video kung grades yan sa school gagawa kayo ng selfie video di ba mag MBA yes, kayo yes po di ba mag MBA ka tapos sinabi ng teacher gumawa kayo ng selfie video introducing yourself kasi wala kayong grade yung gawin niya gagawa kayo <laughs> di ba totoo yan ayabangan lang yun nahihiya sa totoo lang di ba sabrina ayabangan lang yun tanggalin mo na yun di mo na kailangan tanong ta- ay idrea tanong ni lucita may age ba sa virtual careers? May age limit? Oh, edge limit. Edge. Alam edge. Edge limit. Edge, edge, limit. edge, edge, limit. edge limit po wala. Edge limit. Ito nga sa edge limit nga po. Samsung edge. Edge limit. <laughs> eh, sir naman eh. Kung sa age limit po, wala po talaga. Even though kahit nga high school high school uh, graduate ka lang kasi ano siya once na parang once na marunong kang mag search sa Google once na marunong kang mag Facebook marunong kang mag explore sa internet familiar ka sa online world marami pong opportunities talaga sa virtual careers kahit po ilang taon i think siguro mga yes basta actually yung yung client ko ano na siya 62 years old and he's very familiar in the online world. If ya yeah, kung siguro nga ko ipo-push na baka pwede pa siya eh. So tingin ko po wala po talagang age limit po sa virtual careers. Once na basta alam mo yung sikot-sikot sa online world. Basta gusto, no? Kailangan gusto. Willing, yes po. Okay. Determined. Makita na ako ng lola na may online course. Pakita ko sa inyo one time. Yung one of our well, online course? Baka, ma- baka mahimatay kayo kay Lola. Siyempre, puti siya. Uh, Ang advantage siya na puti siya. May Lola uh, siya. She talks on video on her online course. Uh, uh, I think her online course is about online marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ko. Mga tindi. Tinatanong sa Brina, saan may upload yung selfie video? Saan nila upload? Sa YouTube. Ano ba yan? YouTube and then embed rin po sa website. Diba? Yes po, gawa po kayo ng YouTube account. Siyempre. Meron po ako, yun lang din ang laman. Alam ko yung tatlong video lang na yun. Yeah. Alam ko nandun pa siya eh. Video lang yun. You can use your cellphone to do it. Yes po, And cellphone lang pong gamit. Tinatanong ni Paolo, magandang tanong ni Paolo, kahit na NA, have you tried applying at Upwork and Freelance? Um, nag-try po ako sa Upwork.com. Sabay po yun actually, Upwork.com and OnlineJobs.ph. Sa Freelance.com po, nakagawa lang ako ng account pero hindi ako nag-apply. Sa Upwork.com, hindi ko siya... Mas nahirapan ako maghanap ng client sa Upwork. Mas marami kasi ako natanggap na interview sa online jobs eh. Kaya parang buto pinush. And si Upwork.com po kasi meron siyang percentage po, di ba, sa payment na matatanggap ng client. Ayun po. Kaya online jobs at PH, wala po. Ayun po. Okay. So, ayan, okay. So, I think we're done. Well, at least the Q&A part. Okay. Dami na naman. Gan talaga, pag malapit na matapos, dumadami yung ano. Ano? Yes po. Um, I think the lesson here is for everyone to realize that Andrea actually just got one client and yes, all the other clients referred her. Panay referral na lang. Panay yes, hindi ko na po uli na open yung accounts ko sa online jobs at Upwork. Pwede pala yun, ano? Ma- ma- ano ka lang, makapasok ko once, tapos panay referral na lang. 
Galing? Yes po. Basta maganda po ang performance, ang output po kay client. Galing. So, so magtanong ni Ruth, what kind of stuff do you do? At saka ano pala may nag-ask earlier, what, what are the apps you use for those who are who, ano, free to share? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay po. So, for kung ano po yung mga ginagawa ko, um, ngayon po mas nagpo-focus ako sa web development and then po sa video marketing. Tapos po uh, social media marketing pero mas focus ako ngayon sa LinkedIn. Kasi yun po ang nag-work sa mga clients ko na franchise broker at real estate investor. LinkedIn po kaysa po sa Facebook kasi medyo mas serious yung approach nila rather than Facebook kasi alam po natin mas social ah uh, social lang yung social sharing dalasan ng Facebook which is a LinkedIn mas serious ayun po uh, and then sa platforms naman po I'm using WordPress for the websites and then Canva po for the graphics yun po Okay. Uh, thank you for that. LinkedIn pala. Oh, di ba? So, Ruth, yan. Nang sanong sagot, ha? Several kinds of things. Uh, para ma-complete na natin yung tanong na yun, anong course mo ng school? When you went to school? Did you, did you finish? <laughs> course ko po. No, I'm actually a hospitality management graduate po. Uh, HRM siya. So, yun yung term kasi sa letran po. Hospitality mm -hmm. management. So, so, ayun po, malayo. So, since pwede kang maging, pwede kang magtrabaho sa KFC, pwede kang mag-virtual careers. Ganun pala yun. Yes po. <laughs> Kahit anong course pa ang kinuha mo. Kahit anong course. The bottom yes. line, willing to learn. Yan, yan lang na lang. You have to be really willing. Yes, at saka sir, kasi I believe po na wala pong platform na mahirap gamitin. Kasi once na parang, for example, si Facebook, ang gagawin niyang complicated yung platform niya. Alam niyang walang gagamit. Kasi mga hmm. platforms po ang katulong natin para makatulong sa clients natin, para makapag-provide ng service. Hmm. Tulad ni Canva, uh, hmm. hindi po alam, uh, madali lang siyang gamitin. Unang tingin, kasi parang minsan parang ma-overwhelm ka na, nalunod ka na, uh, complicated agad. So, parang alamin muna kasi yun ang lagi ko iniisip, uh, walang platform na mahirap gamitin. Kung meron man, walang gumagamit nun or konti lang ang gumagamit nun. Kasi yun yung mga na nakita ko sa mga platforms na ginagamit ko. Um, accessible sila. Una, nakaka-overwhelm. Pero pag natutunan mo na, ganun pala. Ayun. Okay, galing. So, tandaan niyo po yan ha. Naintindihan niyo ba sinasabi sa inyo <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. it's easy to run it's it yes, like, designed to be easy to use I yes see. like instagram facebook twitter iniiwasan nila maging complicated para mas gamitin ng ibang tao yun yung market eh so so yeah thank you so much um andrea and thank yes, you sir. everyone for joining and thank you for uh, some questions. Thank you for answer the questions and thank you for those people in the Facebook Live. See si, um, Agnes, see si Rosa, see si Gemma, Mirson. Hello, Nanita, and I think um si Bananjan. Si Shella, si Luis, si Isa, hi, Pocholo, Tami nila, and si Red Denal, Hanep. Si sa mga veteran na kung students na yun lang nagpakita ulit. Facebook lang. <laughs> and just to remind everyone, there's a few people in Facebook Live, about 17 of my people who I know. I only know a few people, you know, like 5,000 in Facebook. So <laughs> broadcasting this using my cell phone. And since you're at the end of the webinar, here is the time for you to see the brand new stuff I'm preparing. Okay, I'm preparing a lot of brand new stuff. And for those of you who followed my uh, emails last week, I this see with uh let's stop share. sharing na po ako sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, pwede, pwede. Sige. Magaano na ako? Okay. Oh, na mukha ko. <laughs> Sige po. <laughs> Hello. 
going to learn from me in the coming few days, in the few weeks. Okay, so we are about to launch our um, date with freedom. It's it's a seminar. Okay, it's a summit. Okay, and can you just help me out first by typing the word summit? So date with freedom is my unique, unique, unique summit because number one, it runs for twelve hours. Can you type the words twelve hours? Um, why am I asking you to type the words? So it helps you remember what the stuff I'm telling. Okay. So, parang maganda. And so, have you attended a twelve-hour summit before? So, nine a.m. to nine p.m. That's gonna be the summit. So I have a question for you. If the summit is an opportunity to talk to virtual professionals and clients and clients, do you want less time or more time? What do you think? Do you let do you want less time or more time to speak? To, to speak to the speakers, to speak to possible clients, to speak to um, anybody who's gonna be uh, on the table with you. Do you want less time or more time? So that's why our summit is for the first time it's gonna be 12 hours short. It's gonna give you more time to speak to one another. The summit, will you're gonna be joined in your table by virtual professionals. So we're gonna make sure we will pay. Everybody say, May kasama ako. We will pay for the attendance of your virtual careers, uh, virtual professionals on the table. We invite them, they're gonna attend for free so that they can talk so you can talk to them so you will be subject to at least talking to at least two virtual professionals every hour can you just type this in if we have 12 hours and this is sorry this is math so mga sisa inyo mag pay attention if if of the 12 hours two, 10 hours is for talks so every hour you're talking to two virtual professionals how many Virtual professionals, can you talk to in those 12 hours? If 10 hours lang yung talk, 10 hours lang, tapos di ka magsasalita during lunch at saka merienda. Doon ka lang during ano, discussion. Because ang format natin ay, there's a talk for 30 minutes. And for the next 30 minutes, you can be talking to people on the table. And on the table are two virtual professionals. And... If you did the math, you will be talking to at least, everybody type the word, 20 virtual professionals, 20, uh, in the summit. Okay, so this is a very different summit than what you're used to going. Most summits are, um, there's a speaker, ang galing ng speaker, French ni Oprah, yung mga And wow, she's, he's a CEO, CFO, he's the country manager and stuff like that. Um, hindi tayo gano. We're, we're actually going to be D diving deep into the lives of the virtual professional guests and speakers, okay? So Andrea is going to be one of the speakers in Virtual Professionals Summit, the virtual, sorry, the Virtual Career Summit this October 14th. And we're, we will soon tell you where to go. Actually, I'm going to tell you right now. It's datewithfreedom.com, okay? So Date with Freedom is the name of our Virtual Career Summit, and the website to go to is datewithfreedom.com. And... Let me suggest that you should get a ticket right now if you don't have one yet because we have an upcoming free event. So there is a bonus live event. There's a bonus live event for this Date with Freedom uh, Summit. And it's happening on Saturday next week. So on August 19 in the morning, we were going to do our first meeting. Okay. So that's why you should sign up for the Date with Freedom Guide. Because we, the earlier you sign up, the more chances you're going to be going to have to meet up with everyone who's attending in October. So we're going to have several of these live meetups exclusive for those who sign up for the Date with Freedom event. For If you're asking how many people have already signed up, approximately 100 plus na ang nag sign up. Okay, I think we have space only for a little bit more than 100. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a little bit more because we're going to have round tables. Eh? Um, pero we don't obviously have an unlimited space. So this coming August 19, please let, let's type it in August 19, 
is our pre-event. So that's an, that is a seminar happening on the morning of August 19, Saturday. The, 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 when we say morning, we actually mean 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yan ang morning namin, ha? So that's your first live webinar, uh, first live event for August 19 for Date with Freedom. So that's the pre-event. Now, a deadline to join that is this coming um, 17th, August 17. So two days before that, we're going to increase prices for the Date with Freedom event. We're also going to have some other guests um, lined up for you in the coming days para makilala nyo who's going to be speaking in this live event. Um, can everybody help me and type the word 808080? Just, you know, just humor me and type the word 80 so you know what I'm going to say about this one. So this coming date with freedom, uh, one of our guests is a doctor by the name of Sixto Carlos. He's one, been one of my um, longtime clients in online marketing. Okay, he is not a virtual professional. So what he is, he is actually a doctor of veterinary medicine, and he has used uh, the lessons in online marketing para ma-promote yung kanyang Makati Dog and Cat Hospital. Okay? Makati Dog and Cat Hospital has been using social media for like four years now already. And if you look for uh, them in YouTube, uh, sorry, you look for them in Facebook, look for them in Google, you'll find na uh, daming, ang laki, lak, lakas lakas ng web presence nila. Okay? So, Dr. Sixto Carlos has been a long time um, Filipino who's been hiring virtual assistants. Okay? So, um, he's gonna be one of our main speakers uh, as a client of virtual professionals. And he's Filipino, which is super rare. Now, ask any business person you know, uh, do you hire virtual assistants or virtual professionals? Most of them will say, ano yun? So Sixto is really, really rare. But more than that, he's actually also going to give away. Can you type the word give away? Question mark. He's going to give away 80 of his DVDs. Now, ano laman ng DVDs? The DVDs is not about veterinary medicine. Okay? <laughs> the DVDs are about marketing. So... We follow the same marketing gurus, Kamini Sixto, and he's simplifying his life. Sabi niya, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm pursuing a minimal lifestyle. So mera and dami niya DVDs, 80, 80, 80 DVDs ng mga marketing seminars, you know, marketing uh, materials, and he's going to give it away to those who will attend the date with freedom. There is a condition. The condition is very simple. Like his page, ganun, ganun. but bottom line, he's going to give it away in the live event. So you have to be there, okay? Have to be in the live event when Dr. Sixto shows up, okay? So that's 80 DVDs he's going to give away. So, so at least now you know two people, no? At least two people are joining us in, in going to that event. So who's excited for So at least ako, I'm so excited because it's the first time ever people uh, will be receiving 80 DVDs. Though uh, I've done giveaways like that in the past. It's not as many as that. So so excited for Date with Freedom people. Because um, if you don't know the the value of the 80 DVDs, no? those are several thousand dollars worth, um, hindi yan binibilis tindahan. You have to be a subscriber for many years to get those 80 DVDs. And in, in there are insights that um, Dr. Sixto has used and I have used, me too, uh, to do online marketing, okay? To do online marketing. Do you understand what those 80 DVDs represent? So if you're ever curious, paano ba nag-online marketing? Well, use these, some of these 80 DVDs will actually hold the secret for you, okay? So, so exciting for that, and I'd like to thank Dr. Sixto Carlos for Makati Dog and Cat Hospital for sponsoring those 80 DVDs, okay? So, the website to go to to join us is datewithfreedom.com, datewithfreedom.com. So, that's my first announcement. Are you ready for my second, or are you, gusto niyo na bang umuwi? Pwede naman. 
bye-bye. <laughs> you, want to, you want to say bye-bye. Uh, I, I, I will start now. I'm going to reserve the best for last. Andrea, ready ka na ba? Even Andrea doesn't know this. Yes, but I'm ready. Okay. So I created a brand new group trust join, and and I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna answer the question: Why are you making a brand new group? So this is a brand new group, and this, this group is a free group. Free group, okay. And this free group is uh, a place to discuss stuff, to ask questions from people, and this is an experiment. Now, let me give you a short background. Uh, my name is Jomar Hilario. And I don't do what other people do. I, I do them better. Or, my name is Jomar Hilario, and I do stuff that your gurus will do next year. Okay? And, and a third background is, my name is Jomar Hilario. When the world was talking about Facebook pages, I was establishing Facebook groups. And as you know, right now, there are tons of Facebook groups out there, right? Which means it's time to move. It's time to go to this better, better thing. And would you like to know what's the better thing than Facebook groups? I've discovered this, Facebook groups are really hard to, uh, to help, to use to help people. And I've created a brand new platform where I can help people. And people can help other, other people in the platform. And it is not Facebook. Which means some of you will not be able to appreciate it. That's okay. We don't want you to join. <laughs> if you cannot answer, open another app to, to, to gain free access to helping people, people help you, it's okay. You can just go ahead and stay addicted to Facebook. But I tried looking for Facebook to you. Uh, to use Facebook to use this. I tried looking at Facebook Messenger. I tried looking at Snapchat. I also looked at um, Instagram. Hindi pa din gawin platform lahat yun to help people for free. What I can use is a brand new system, which I'm gonna invite everyone here to, to begin to, to join. Um, this is new. So you might, uh, may hirapan kayo. Uh, pero hindi, kasi this is a chatting system. And this system is called I need to read Virtualcareers.slack.com. So that's going to be our new home. Can you just type the word? Virtualcareers. Okay. Virtualcareers.slack. Ano yung Slack? Yung walang ginagawa. Slacker. Ganyan. So let me just type that in. Virtualcareers.slack.com is going to be our brand new home so we can help each other better. Um, why? Because it's so formatted in a way that if you have a question about starting, it's, it's easy to find the questions. Hindi ka tulad sa Facebook group ng hirap, hirap maghanap ng mga answers to questions. Plus, ini-invade ka pa naman nga advertise. So this way, you don't, there's no, so the website to go to is virtualcareers.slack.com. Eventually, I'm going to get rid of the Slack. I'm just going to uh, change it to something else. But right now, since you're first, ito muna yung pupuntahan ninyo. virtualcareers.slack.com. You need to create a uh, an account okay, in virtualcareers.slack.com. It is free. Free to join. Free. Okay. And in here, I'm gonna, we're going to partial forum, but it, only it runs easy on your cell phones. This thing can be installed on your cell phones. Mag-register muna kayo. Install your Windows, Mac, uh, Android, and, and and whatever device you got, okay? Yes, siyempre mobile compatible. You have no idea that dapat hindi to gamitin natin. Pero since hindi mobile compatible yung kalaban, ito muna. Ito muna. Uh, and this is... I'm gonna stop talking about it because <laughs> this is it's advance notice for those people uh, na nagahanap kayo ng support na libre. You, you understand what I mean? People, sino ba nasa mga virtual careers na uh, students si Jomar? Nasaan ba sila? Can I talk to them? Yeah, you go here. Um, I need a specific question. Answer to this specific question. Uh, you can go to, to this website, uh, to this page, dun sa, web, sa cell phone mo and you can immediately find a subtopic. Everybody type the word subtopic. And if you have the subtopic, 
it's easy. Ay, nandito pala lahat ng discussion on WordPress. Ay, nandito pala lahat ng discussion on YouTube. You get me? Ay, nandito pala lahat ng discussion sa Upwork. Because discussion is easily done in this system. Virtual careers, that's lack.com. It's easy to be done. Plus, you can search. The subtopics are searchable. It's so hard to do searching inside Facebook groups. I bet you don't even know how to search in Facebook groups. So naturally, oh, um, there's a lot of people who are, my period, oh, virtual careers, that's lack.com. A, a lot of people will not be able to join because they're not paying attention to the Facebook groups. That's actually that's okay. I only want people who, who wants to be involved, you know, in serious. Okay. So this is actually a bet forum, Leia, than a forum. Kasi duma ng forums, it doesn't work on mobile. But this one actually works better because it's designed to work on mobile, designed to work on desktop in a different way. It has notifications. Kung gusto mong, I only want to know, uh, you know, topics about WordPress. If nobody talks about WordPress in virtual careers, that's lack.com. Pwede kang walang notification. You understand me? Pwede kang mag-watch ng topics. I only want to know about Jomar's announcements. Okay? So, hindi mo kailangan ma-notify sa lahat. So, hindi ka ma-overwhelm. Like in Facebook, naka-overwhelm pag nahuli ka. Mas malala ang Viber. Pag nahuli ka sa Viber, <laughs> tinry ko naman yung Viber. Tinry ko na Facebook message niya. Malulula ka lang. Pag lahat ng tao, Hi, it's my birthday today. Everybody says, Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Pubos ang oras mo, takbasa ng happy birthday ng tao na hindi mo kilala. You get me? And that doesn't have, you know, that doesn't have to be that way. Okay? So that's it. Uh, virtual careers at slack.com. Yeah, you need to create an account for us in Slack. Anyway, you're just, First time, it's okay. Kung di kayo marunong, it's okay. I'm gonna give out, you know, instructions later. I'm just giving you an announcement. We're gonna move from Facebook group to this Slack group. Okay. So how do you create an account? Pumunta ka sa Slack, just create an account. I don't. And eventually, I'll I'll give you guys an invite, invite an invitation uh, link para hindi na kayo nahitapan. Um, mahirap kasi mag uh, double task, you know, triple task. Yeah, kailangan ng invitation. Yeah, correct. Kailangan ng invitation. However, can't invite you now, you know, because like I'm in a webinar. <laughs> okay lang ba mag-invite later? Okay lang mag-invite later? Kasi po, hindi po ako marunong mag-invite. Pwede bang ignorante din ako for a while? No. Hindi <laughs> ko kayang gawin yan habang nag-webinar tayo, di ba? So, <laughs> so, pasensya na. At least alam nyo na nalilipat tayo doon. Hindi natin kung sinong gagaya. Ganun naman lagi. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway. I'm gonna announce another one. Are you, are you still okay? You can sleep now if you like. Kung ayaw ng new stuff. Okay. Um, obviously, you're not going to create a team. You're gonna find my team, which is Virtual Careers. NBV. Pag nag-create ka ng team, bahala ka. Kasi <laughs> you make your own team. Okay. I'm not going to invite you now because I have to figure it out first. All right. Before I tell you the last thing, and I, I want to answer your, I want to ask you a question. That's why I'm announcing it. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodnight now after this. So um, just a fair warning for those who haven't checked it out. Uh, awesome Masterclass is about to start 20 Days with Jomar. What is that? Um, and you know what? Um, awesome Masterclass is two topics. Everybody type the word two. I call it the awesome master class because I I'm gonna teach I'm teaching already autopilot incomes. And what the way I did it is I changed I, instead of teaching autopilot income one time, I'm gonna teach it four times. Everybody say the word four. So the first topic in awesome master class is autopilot. The second topic is Facebook bots, B O T robots. Right. So we're gonna talk about the first one first. The first topic is autopilot income. It's literally what you think it is. Uh, we're gonna set up something online and it's gonna give you money. That's that's how it works, okay? You're actually going to sell something without facing a human being. And you're just gonna copy what I do, which is what they're doing right now. 
So what I did is I split up the autopilot teaching into four parts. Everybody type the word four. Why four? Because I taught it to you once, di niya magigets. Taught it to you twice, medyo magigets niya. So if I teach it four times, it's going to be easier. The way to do that is, alam ka mag live event lang ako, di ba? What I did was, I did a live event, and I did a webinar, and I'm going to do 20 days. How many days? 20 days inside. Um, I'm not going to tell you where. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Only for autopilot and also masterclass. Also, also masterclass students. I'm going to spend 20 days doing it all over again and showing to them the mistake, showing to them the how to change this and that, how to tweak your settings. So we're gonna do 20 days for Jomar. And this is uh, this is only the first, I've, done, I've done this three times already, okay? The first time was Instagram until today. And then when we finish Instagram batch two, around this week, we're gonna start 20 days for Jomar. Let me suggest to you something. If you are, you know, you want to learn online, Earn on earn online so internet, no? And since I mo sa sarili mo, uh, iko lang kung gusto ko yung virtual virtual. Tama niyo ba sa? Virtual virtual, eh, you work for someone, di ba Andrea? So if you are so fortunate to work for someone, na okay lang naman, eh, wala kang oras. You're still working for someone. You understand me? You are still working for someone. Let me just tell you the big secret that they. They, they say this, but they don't say this often. That most of your, the people you admire online, and I don't mean me, I don't mean me, talaga, promise. You don't have to admire me, I'm so imperfect. Imperfect father, imperfect homeschooler, imperfect everything, okay? You don't have to admire me. But most of the people you admire online, this is their secret of source of income. <laughs> this is their secret source. Of, they're not really earning just on clients they're actually earning using autopilot incomes and that's what i want to teach you guys okay so the the 20 days with jomar i think is too much what do you think if nakatutok tayo sa internet for 20 days do you think you learn something what do you think you, you can answer it's okay you don't have to be shy. in my mind siguro naman no 20 days eh. and i'm not gonna overwhelm you in 20 days remember there is already a webinar recording and a video recording of a four-hour live event, which you can review before we begin the 20 days recording. If you are not able to review that, because in time my excuses, in the 20 days, wala kang choice. I'm, I am going to repeat. I'm going to repeat the contents of the webinar. I'm going to do it all over again. So if there is one skill you should learn, it's this one to find that income because you will learn a ton of other skills at the same time you're going to learn facebook advertising you're going to learn landing pages you're going to learn funnels you're going to learn a secret tool <laughs> sorry secret talaga. and you're also going to learn um yeah another secret tool and you're also going to learn psychology marketing psychology for um, advertising uh, you're going to learn a lot of You're gonna learn this so that you can you will earn in the result. So that's 20 days with Jomar as part of the awesome master class. You have a few days left. We're giving you Hangang next week. Yeah, next week, Thursday to join the awesome master class. I suggest you, you seriously consider it. Lalong lalo na if you are like you're not a newbie, you know, you're not a newbie, and you say, oh, magaling na ako, magaling na ako, magaling na ako. Kung magaling ka na, please join. Please join. Because you will learn stuff you don't, you didn't know, you didn't know before. I'm, I'm sure. Why? Because there's new stuff. <laughs> there's new stuff. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff. And hindi pala a lot. Some new stuff, pero it's something that's gonna be very powerful to mga gamit mo to to do to implement the awesome uh, the the autopilot incomes. And I haven't even discussed influence one one which is the seminar we're going to do on Saturday next week. No? Influence 101 is Facebook bots. That is another secret. Well, the bots is not a secret. 
But which bot? That's the secret. And why are we going to use this bot? That's the secret. I'm going to reveal that in Influence 101. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you, prove to you why it's a big deal, why I'm calling it the third gold rush for virtual careers. There is a fourth gold rush, not telling you yet. Sigur sa awesome masterclass sabihin ko ano yung fourth gold rush. But the fourth gold rush, I'm not even going to share it publicly. Because secret muna. I've learned, you know, from Ed, um, Sir Edward Lee. I met him again last Saturday, by the way. Uh, that uh, in this world, if you want, really want to get ahead, you need to learn secrets. The real ones. Not the secrets that you can Google. The secrets that you cannot Google. You need to learn those things. Marami pala yun. And those are these are some of the things that I'm gonna reveal sa awesome masterclass. Right, so if you think you're an advanced person, you're ready for earning more, and alam mo, but you haven't done it, join us because of course, kay, 20 days to Jomar, you'll be forced to implement, to create a setup of several websites, several web pages actually, that will that can possibly earn income for you on autopilot. Would you, wouldn't you like to be forced into that corner? This is a corner. This. You can possibly earn online without working for anyone. Would it be something you'd be interested in? 20 days, eh? 20 days. And so, so ganun, 20 days serving you like that, no? It's going to be bigger than what I did for face for Instagram. So I believe it's worth more than what, I, what we're charging for this, what we're asking you in exchange. It's, um, I'm clicking the link because I don't know how much. <laughs> awesome masterclass. If you join us, it's just around lang pesos. Well, here are the options. We, we convert it into dollars, eh, pero you can convert it into pesos. So awesome master class is around 8, 000, uh, 11,800 for full payment and for three gives or three installments is 4,250 for three installments. Now, um, just a fair warning, um, in awesome master class, you need to have a budget for advertising. I recommended around 5,000 pesos a month for a budget. Hindi na, hindi na 15,000, Andrea. 5,000 na lang. So if you have the budget, you're willing to spend you're willing to spend uh, around 5,000 a month for bibili tayo ng apps, bibili tayo ng pages, bibili tayo ng tools, 
bibili tayo ng advertisement, um, you can join this uh, awesome masterclass. 11,800 11, or 4,250 times 3. Okay? So that's our awesome masterclass. If you join, uh, once you join uh, now, you have the privilege of joining us on August 23. Okay? Because that's a live event. August. I oh, sorry. It's in August 19, and there, that's a live event. August 23 for the uh, webinar. Yeah. So yeah, um, awesome master. Um, we will not be repeating this. So if you are really looking for ha hand holding, um, you should join now. If you want to join this next year, I will not be doing the 20 days with Jomar anymore. You will have access to the recordings, but not live. Okay. Michelle, can I use my East-West Visa debit card? Kung mayroong Mastercard yung Visa debit mo, Chell, or Visa, pwede yan. Pwede yan. Try mo lang. Pasok mo lang yun sa system. Pwede yan. Basta may Visa or Mastercard. Pwede yan. Okay. Akala nyo that's the last thing, right? Hindi pa eh. So can I just announce the last thing? <laughs> okay lang kayo. Pakasabi nga sa chat room, did you hear anything I said? I should really stop, you know, stop and go to sleep, right? But I really want to announce it, okay? Because this is specifically for those who are not in the Philippines. Game kayo. Lalo na yung mga matagal na dyan. Tapos naghahanap pa ng something na nakakataas ng confidence. Yung ganun. Or nagsisimula ka pa lang. Tapos naghahanap ka ng, pwede ba akong may malaman na na tool na pwede kong magustuhan kasi halimbawa sinasabi mo ayaw ka ng Facebook hirap ako sa Facebook ano nga ganun may iba ka talagang nahihirapan sa Facebook ads eh o kaya ayaw ka naman Pinterest hindi na uso yan ayaw ka ng Instagram ayaw ka ng sa pictures ang daming reklamo ganun ang so, daming ganun eh madami naman pwedeng gamitin tools tapos may magtatanong pa na ganito yung Omar yung libro mo 2015 pa kailangan ka mag-update mga ganun klase diba parang ang dali-daling <laughs> ang dali-daling gawa ng libro diba so here's here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm doing it, but I do want to try this out. Um, can you can you type the word secrets? Because this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna share secrets. Now, this is a different kind of secret. I, <laughs> indeed, the kind of secret I will share, I'll be sharing in the day, in the awesome masterclass. That's different. This is different. I, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna launch a online only, na, para mini course. I, it's a mini course. Now, this mini course happens every month, and. The only thing you will learn in this mini course are apps. These are secret apps. I actually have a long list of apps, and I've never been able to share it in course. Um, you need to protect those kind of things. You can't just share and share and share and share and share and share. And share. Um, um, first of all, if you tell people, basta basta, this for you. And that's, that happens many times. Book, you share, hey, ganun tong app na to, ganyan, ganyan. And then nobody will notice you. Nakakasama <laughs> naman ng loob. Because the apps that I have in my secret, um, they're really useful. Really useful. Some of them, everybody type the word game changer. Some of them are game changer apps. Meaning, once you start using this app, magbabago buhay mo. Yan. Parang nung na-evento yung iPhone, di ba? Hindi na nagkakarga ng camera. Nag-okay mo? Nung nag-andrea. Di ba? Wala nang camera sa bahay. <laughs> Hindi na kami nag- So, ito mga game changer, I would like to have a way to share this 
figure trying to figure out how to do it. So here's what that's gonna happen. My game changer apps. Uh, this is not going to be free because I, I really don't want people to ignore the game changer apps. Game changer guy. So so but it will be affordable. Type nga, type nga affordable. Not free, but affordable. Because it's gonna be online only. Well and live events. So well expenses done. Well being webinar. So what I have fixed time I have to be there. It's gonna be a little bit more affordable than you can do. Then I'm also not going to well there are thirty this month. I'm gonna give thirty as okay. You might you'll never be able to apply and I'm going to give you one app per week, maybe, maybe more, okay? And when I say apps in software, when I say software, I'm grass, one of my generation and models. Okay, and I don't only mean Macintosh and Android. I mean all, all of those apps, all of those platforms. I'm going to share that. I had a lot of experience in Instagram because I've I'm sharing some apps like Instagram marketing. Yes or no, Instagram, maraming ba kayo ng apps? Believe it or not, hindi lang siya nyo. Hindi lang siya nyo. I want to take questions. Yeah, I'm fine. Kaya talaga, magagamit nyo na sana and at least want to reward you. Secret stash of apps na program. Kasi pag nagamit nila na yun, of the free, some of them are some of them are reasonably priced. I never apps na unfort na unreasonable ang price. It can form your business and even your life, since all of us are kind of like to our cell phones anyway. So yun lang, yun lang gusto ko siya nyo. Walapas ng pangalan, walapas ng web site where you can join. And so I do all about it. It's a crash now. Okay. So wait, wait, now it's starting. It could come yes tomorrow. Announcements. I'm not sure yet. But how to deliver it. Malapit. How to deliver it. Uh, you should jump. Join. Uh, why? Because this is going to be a full story. Once I share here, okay, um, in that week, I'm going to share a, an app or a tool or a website. Next week, will have, meaning to say, um, I will not mention it again. You will have access to the uh, archives that you missed, obviously, um, if you missed it. But if you join later, like you join in December, you will not see all of it earlier. Okay? You're just going to know. What, what I'm sharing that right so, so some not really final that's all I got for today thank you so much for joining us and thank you for, again for joining us um you for God bless everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Dancer Jomar. Thank you for staying and guesting again. Yes. Bye. So, ulitin ulit sana, sir. Thank you, Pog. Bye. Salamat. Bye.